So I normally do like a Black Friday vlog or like video or whatever, but um, gun violence is at an all time high in America, so I didn't want to leave my house. She's got a point. All right, hi fairies. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about an issue that I've been struggling with my whole life and my latest episode. And that is my shopping addiction. So I found a lot of cool products on Black Friday that I wanted to try out. So I took advantage of all the sales going on. I'm not sure how much I spent this Black Friday because I was kind of in a trance when I was spending. So I normally do like a Black Friday vlog or like video or whatever, but um, gun violence is at an all time high in America, so I didn't want to leave my house. She's got a point. But yeah, if you're interested in knowing some really underrated products and just what I bought, keep on watching. So I did a lot of orders. Like I have so many boxes of shit, so buckle up. Always buckle up. I think I'm gonna start off with Lime Crime because I did a mini Lime Crime haul. So Lime Crime Black Friday sales always fucking snap. Like they have like 70% off the website and sometimes their $20 lipsticks can be like $3. Um, but I didn't think it would get to this magnitude. But I forgot that they start Black Friday on Monday. So it's more like Black Week. Yeah, so I was really pissed off because literally the whole website was sold out except for a few things. I just bought whatever they had left in stock. One of those things is this lipstick I'm wearing right now. So this is the Lime Crime Lip Blaze in the shade Fern. This is like a weed makeup product. Is that a weed? Like it's infused with like weed or CPD or something. Yeah, I spoke. Judge me. Judge me. Judge me. It's pretty much the NYX liquid suede, except like it smells interesting. Ooh. When I first smelled this, I legit thought it smelled like weed. <laughs> Not a blunt, because those smell like shit, mm. like the like wax pen. It smells like a wax pen cartridge that would be flavored like sweet tarts or some shit like that. She's got a point. But I looked it up and apparently this is supposed to smell like violets and roses. Smell it like good pussy and roses. Like what the fuck? Ooh. This shit legit smells like artificial watermelon. I'm not getting any floral notes from this. So the next product I want to share with you is one I'm getting for the first time. This is the Lime Crime Diamond Dew. These are like the diamond crushers but made for your eyes. And I always use the diamond crushers because those are for your lips. I always use those on my eye anyway. So I was like, I wonder what their shit for your actual eyes is going to be like. You know, I had really high hopes for this and I kind of hate it. You know, I thought it would be like super colorful and super sparkly, but I have the one in the shade Rose Goals, but I feel like all of them just have this like weird plastic glitter mixed in, like the PET glitter. I don't really like using those because those are bad for the environment and they're a bitch to get off your face. And that's the truth. I think I'm gonna stick with the diamond crushers because I feel like those are better. That being said though, let's move on to the diamond crusher I got. I have a huge collection of these. I have like almost like 10. Oh wow. Because I love sparkle and if a brand doesn't bring it there with the shimmers, I always have to go in on top. You have to be ashamed of yourself. Speaking of which, I actually bought a bunch of industrial grade pigments to use on my eyeballs. What? Uh, but we'll go into that in just a second. So yeah, I got this Lime Crime Diamond Crusher in the shade Summer. I love this one. It's like a peachy gold pink. Ooh. And the last product I got from Lime Crime is their Software Blush. These were only $3 on Black Friday. This was like the cheapest item on the whole site. You're going to make me act up. I'm gonna buy the whole shade range because I know Kato Potato said this is her favorite blush I love her so much and I really wanted to try it because this is like a cream to powder blush And it's supposed to be like really unique and whatever but like I said earlier the sales started a week ago with lime crime specifically So the only color that was in stock Was green um ciao. Anyway, so I'm literally never going to use this. I bought it just because I wanted to see like what the formula was like. And apparently these are supposed to smell like orchids, you know, and the packaging was just really cute. Like the green base doesn't show up, but you do get a really pretty like shimmer. And honestly, it just smells like vanilla. But then again, vanilla is a kind of orchid, but it's not the kind of orchid that's on the cover right here because this is called a Philanopsis orchid. <laughs> Yeah, I actually used to work at a plant store and horticulture is kind of my shit. What the f 
is horticulture. All right, so moving on, I want to tell you just about these guys. So these are the pure pigments I bought. These are literally for like mixing into paint or like resin or nail polish. Oh my God, I can't. So I was inspired to buy these because of the Jeffree Star Extreme Frost. Yeah, those look so pretty and those look right up my alley. But the price tag on those guys is a little bit crazy. It's 50 fucking dollars. I'm like, whoa, like, hold up, partner. Like, I could buy the new Fire Emblem game for that much. But I still wanted them really bad. So on Jeffree's story, he said something like, oh, they're pure pigment or whatever. If that's the case, if they are just pure pigment, why don't I just buy the pure pigment? Because I'm sure it's going to be less than $50. And it was. These are pure mineral pigments. They can't be pressed on their own. You need to add a binding agent like silicone or glycerin. Like, even though these are all safe for cosmetic use, well, most of them. So I actually pressed all of these using a um, very makeshift uh, pressing medium. I used lube. I can't. <laughs> Try using a silicone-based lube, specifically one that includes as the first two ingredients, either dimethicone or cyclopentacillazan. The flavor is immaculate. If it's okay to use on your special hole, it's probably okay to use on your eye hole. Ooh. There go all my AdSense earnings flying away. All right, so the next product I want to tell you guys about was actually one that was sent to me in PR. This is the Alter Ego Aurora Palette. Now, Alter Ego is a brand that dupes makeup. They're an LA-based company and they're cruelty-free, but their latest launch, Aurora, is actually a dupe of the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. When I opened this beach up and I saw that it was this, I was like, oh. Like, not a lot of times I will actually, like, resonate with a color story that much. You know, I just love purple so much. I feel so sexy and passable when I'm wearing purple. Yeah, I love being purple! Like, I wanted that shit so bad. But Natasha, the thing with Natasha Dona is that shit is expensive. I think she's the most expensive eyeshadow in the entire Sephora. So I'm wearing this on my eyes right now. But the thing with Alter Ego is even though like you are buying a duped palette, you don't feel like you're compromising at all. Just to show you how good the formula is, I'm gonna swatch the shade Nova for you live on camera. It's just this really gorgeous like neon purple. Look at this. It's just, it's like, it's... Now come on now. Now I'm actually partnered with Alter Ego. I have a non-affiliate code, so I'm not getting paid for any of this. No, ma'am. My opinions are my own as always. Now the coupon code I have with them is Liam10. You can save 10% off your whole purchase. All right, so the next haul I wanna share with you is actually from a brand called Clean Color. There are a lot of videos about Clean Color in Spanish and Portuguese, so I'm assuming like, you know, it's in Latin America. I didn't ask to be born Latina. Clean Color is a brand I usually see at the dollar store all the time. They do have a selection of products that is a above a dollar like they have some that are like five dollar ten dollars so i was kind of interested because i did notice some like cute shit don't you dare leave me alone <laughs> So the first thing I want to tell you about I got just because it was so freaking cute. This is their donut bar palette. So this is four fifty. Correct. As I said earlier, I love purple just as much as Oprah loves bread. I love bread. So when I saw this palette, I was like, Afterpay? Yes, please. Now, the cutest thing about this palette is its ube theme. The shimmers in here are actually really good, but the mattes aren't. I'd say, like, the pigment is maybe, like, 45%. You know, the matte in here is such a deal breaker because, like, the colors and the shimmers are so pretty. It's just the mattes are like, girl, what the fuck? It's cute, but, you know not my favorite so the next thing i want to tell y'all about is shit you need to buy right now do it so clean color has this collection called the mega watts collection and it's like this really high impact glitter like theme so they have liquid shadows and a shadow palette i got both so i want to talk to you about the liquid shadows first and oh my god bitch put y'all seat belts on these are only a dollar a dollar now i noticed they have two different formulas there's a metallic one i have two and a sparkly one i have three the metallic ones are are really pretty and they go on actually like so amazingly i have the shades crushing and mischief and then i have the three other ones i'm wearing one of these right now i have the shades dragonfly everglow and mandarin so i'm wearing mandarin on my eye right now i love this one so much it's just like orange with gold and pink now the glitter liquid shadows is definitely like glitter suspended in clear gel it's definitely like a topper it's not nearly as opaque as the metallic one and finally i want to tell you about the megawatts eyeshadow palette so they have four different variants of this i got the shade electric it's like electricity so this is an all shimmer eyeshadow palette 
and it's supposed to be like a bunch of glitters. It comes with this really gross brush, but I'm gonna leave it there. So when I first opened this up, I thought there was a glitter overspray because I was like, no way, this can't be that sparkly. And some of them do have a glitter overspray, but that's only one or two. Like this green shade right here was so pretty when I first swatched it, but it kind of lost its luster because it does have a glitter overspray. But pretty much every single other one in here is like, that's just how it looks. Now, even though these just look like normal shadows, they're actually like really wet feeling, creamy, bouncy shadows. You know, it's pretty strange and you can and kind of smush them around with your finger. Oh. Even though this palette is all shimmer, it's such a beautiful toppers for only $5. Wow. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is actually not beauty related, but it kind of is. It's contact lenses. So I'm actually wearing some lenses right now. These are from Unixo. I got a bunch of Unixo lenses. I'm actually partnered with Unixo, so they sent me these. Some contact lenses, especially the ones that make your eyes a little bit lighter, they tend to have like those little dots or like the design is printed on little dots. But the ones I got, these are called the Sweetie Aura design. Even if the camera is like two inches away from your face it literally looks like your eye like the design is just so sophisticated and so intricate like you can literally fool people into thinking you have blue eyes these ones are so natural yet the effect is so pronounced you know i want to recommend the sweetie aura line to anyone that wants to just kind of like make a subtle change to their eye color because i'm wearing these sweetie aura light grays right now and you can see my eyes don't look like completely white the dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities so some consider to be unnatural. I have a coupon code with them as well. You can use the code Liam, just my name, to save 10% off everything on their website. Mm very good all right so that's everything i got on black friday i know this video is probably going to be a real quick one but um honestly i'm waiting for a huge order of aliexpress makeup to come in because i want to do a full face of aliexpress makeup to really see what's the tea on that it's not fake makeup or anything with like rat feces in it my dog is literally moaning in the hallway all right but that's pretty much it uh let's see the time so the time right now is 2 45 a.m um i'm a crackhead so i hope you enjoyed this probably mess of a video i really just wanted to put something out there where it's a little bit more loose as opposed to the more structured content like reviews and stuff i've been doing yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you soon bye